You know when they call for Khan and they make this big celebration of the fire and they're banging the things and Khan. What an epic freaking name. Khan. Another quip. Back to our Super Drag Studio, it's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on and Twitter Ooh. for more juicy, juicy content. content. Wow, Twitter was so fine. juicy. Sorry, we were talking about Ashley. Woo! Uh, oh. thank you for us on Patreon and follow us on official Twitter. We're going to get demonetized <laughs> for you. Uh, and uh, Today. this came out a couple days ago. Uh. It's a trailer for an interview. My ear hole. You know how David Letterman has his, um, my next guest on Netflix, where he yes. interviews people. Yeah, the bearded David Letterman. His next one is Shah Rukh Khan. Sweet. Uh, Love got it. a lot of requests for this. Good uh, for Letterman, man. Uh, I'm sure uh, you'll want us to react to this interview. I don't know if we'll be able so to. So this is the trailer for the interview. For the interview. Got it. Because, uh, you know, if we do something like that, it needs to be cut up. So it'd have to cut a lot of good stuff. Right. We can only use a certain amount of footage. Ten or minutes of very cut up footage. Claim it. So, um, but, uh, you know. It's going to be a great interview, I'm sure. I'm but, sure it uh, will. This is the trailer for that. Got a lot of requests for it, so cool. that's what we're doing. Yep. And it's his, his show's on Netflix? Yes. Awesome. Here we go. The most popular movie film star in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sherwood Khan. Immediately, the audience went crazy, like, oh my goodness. Perhaps the biggest ovation we've had in the series. That's all the time we have. <laughs> People are kind. They come outside my house on occasions to wish me. And he happened to be there on Eve, which is wonderful. Oh, wow. He was there on Eve? That's great. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this knife is very sharp. Ow! Jeez! Oh! Oh! God! He's a fake thing, Las Vegas. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> something about that man that has made it a different experience. Oh! For me, it was really wonderful to have the metaphor. Wait, was that Shah Rukh Khan painting? Of his statue, and of course, of his statue. I think so. Himself? Yeah. That's what's weird to me. The most fun I've ever had. Well done. That's cool. Yeah, I think that was him painting <laughs> for himself. No, that's not him. It's not him. Oh, okay. Look. Right. No, it's not. Yeah, that's not him. That's not him. Okay. That's a great painting, though. I was gonna say, I was like, he's a great painter. <laughs> right, no, that is a great painting. I wonder what that's about, and I wonder, I have a, I have a. Well, I'm sure he's just showing the amount of fans he has and the length they go to. Like, who else's fans are gonna paint a massive wall portrait of him? Like, I mean, there's only a handful of. Abe Vigoda? No. No one cares about Abe Vigoda. I care about Abe Vigoda. <laughs> no one else does, Rick. Um, yeah, but it, it, that was a, tra a trailer for an interview. <laughs> yeah. Now this remind this reminds me of something a stupid baby asked me on Instagram, and it was it was because of the uh, how I guess the sky is pink. You know, Priyanka put out all the stops. Her people, she got on all the talk shows, and she's promoting it. And I loved it. And Jimmy Fallon in particular. I didn't see the other shows, but they all promoted it. No different than any other film she'd do. It could have been Baywatch. You know, they didn't say this is a film from India. This is in Hindi. The, the Jimmy's clip he played was with the subs. Didn't it was just a movie, and I love that. But what the stupid baby asked me was, why is it that everywhere else in the world, China, Europe, the outside of India, they know who these people are. They know SRK, mm -hmm. and they watch their movies. Mm -hmm. Why do the Western places? like the United States and even in Australia, no register of any kind. And why is it that the biggest movie star on earth, mm -hmm. most Americans don't even know who he is and don't care? Well, I'd say 99%, unless they're Indian, don't right. know who he is. Nope. Um, I, I, it's the same reason they don't watch any foreign films at all. They don't, they're, Americans are lazy. They're also self-centered, like, um, self basically. Yeah. So they... If it's not in English, mm -hmm. it doesn't exist. And it's not as yep. good as what you're getting in Hollywood. Yeah. And so also... Yeah, there's myriads of factors. Also, it's harder to get these films 
in America. Correct. Uh, so there's that. Usually you've seen it when we go to a theater. It's mostly empty. empty. Uh, that's a numerous, of, numerous factors to that. There is, because we see films like when we saw the winner of Best Picture that year, Moonlight, mm. no one was in the theater when we went. Yeah. Uh, it just happens sometimes. But as a whole, the most we've ever seen, my recollection of films that we've seen in theaters, the biggest crowd we've had is when we saw Gully Boy. Gully Boy, like yeah. the first one. Yeah. First one. 100%. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a myriad of factors. It's what we've said about our like, reaction to first. Priyanka, sadly, wouldn't be uh, uh, as known if she wasn't married to Nick Jonas. And that's not mm -hmm. saying that's her only thing, but that's that's a huge it's factor. It's a huge factor. Uh, but also, she was in uh, Quantico. True. I've never seen it, but... People no, but people know Quantico. Her. If you say Priyanka here, they'll go, oh, Quantico, and wasn't she in Baywatch? Yeah, or, yeah. or the, Nick Jonas's wife. Yeah, that's, or Nick Jonas's wife. It's those three. It, it, it's those three, and that's why she's known. But it's, it is, it is a, uh, it's one of the things, obviously, we want to change. Of course. <laughs> uh, it's, and, and part of it, I, it's a myriad of factors. First of all, most Americans, unlike everywhere else in the world, are unilingual. They speak English and have no interest in speaking any other language. And Most many don't them, even speak Spanish, which is a huge language in America. In America, <laughs> yeah. And and many Americans are like, you should learn my language. If you're going to be in America, learn English. I'm not learning your language. Yeah. And we are very, not just, it's our culture. It's our, it's our media and it's our entertainment places. Uh, I, I know the studios don't have any interest in seeing Indian cinema come here because they would view it as competition and they don't want American eyeballs taken away from what they're making. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a big mountain to jump over with a lot of reasons for it. It's just, it's true. The biggest movie star on earth, most people in America don't know, don't care. Yeah, and uh, like, we know he's the biggest movie star in the world, but it doesn't mean he's the biggest movie star uh, uh, in the world in America. Exactly, like when Priyanka was on Jimmy, he had a picture of her in Mumbai promoting the film. And there were 60,000 people that came out and Jimmy was genuinely like, what is that all about? How did 60,000 people? And we, I'm watching it thinking, wow, Jimmy's like we were a year ago. Mm -hmm. That's nothing. Yeah. I mean, 60,000 people show up to Big B's house on his or uh, Shah Rukh Khan's house or on Shah Rukh Khan's house on E. <laughs> yeah, so for 60,000 people to show up to a, to a premiere of a movie is like, and? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of those things, and it, it, we really we should change. I, um, I'm looking forward to this. Interview. I want to watch this because interview. we've seen him in you know the TED Talk. Yeah, uh, and he's a really good speaker. And I love Letterman. Yeah, Letterman's a Letterman's legend. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. He's a great interviewer. Uh, he's if you don't know anything about Letterman, he's a he's a funny he's guy. A really, really funny guy. But I, I do I, I love that he's bringing. I mean, I know he knows that. Because somebody told me, I was discussing this on, on Twitter, and they said, why, if he's not the biggest movie star uh, outside in India, in America, then why did David Letterman pick him? I said, because Netflix is a global brand. Yeah, to, Netflix is a global brand. I mean, they've, <laughs> they've got sacred games on there, among other things. And so, and David Letterman isn't stupid. Yeah. And David won't do anything he doesn't want to do. He's yeah. got that but place in his I'm career. I'm very glad that he is doing it mm -hmm. to introduce people... Yep. That, because obviously they'll get the Indian audience, they'll yep. get the other worldwide audience, but he'll, the people that love Letterman will watch this exactly. and have no idea. They're like, exactly. Who is Shah Rukh Khan? Um, there will be a few million people who don't know Shah Rukh Khan, but because of Dave, are going to now be introduced to him and hopefully be intrigued and want to know more. Yeah, so this is that. a wonderful That's thing. That's fantastic. Yeah. I, I, I would love to be able to wrap. I think it, when does it come out, Rick? Um, it's got to be soon. If they've got the trailer out now, I'm sure it's really soon. Like October, November. October 25th. 25th. Great. 25th. Which yeah. is... Two that, weeks. Is that 10 Dwali? days. Is that Dwali? Yeah. To the 27th, I think, is when it starts. Oh, no, maybe the 25th. I've got it in the calendar. But I don't, yeah. I don't know. But yeah. So I would love to, like I said, if, if it does happen, uh, it will be extremely cut up. So I will have to cut a bunch of parts. So don't be upset by that if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, <laughs> I know how you've had to do disclaimers. Like the last one, you were like, I'm doing this because it's YRK. Be mad at them, not at me. 